There's his third gen. He's all excited cleaning his motor off so we can get that. We're going to do some test fitting and see if we can't get that. Well, we know an LS will go in there. But we're, um, there's so many different people that have to try to get that glare out of there. There's so many different things going on with the air conditioning. So we got the uh, air conditioning mounted on there. And what we're going to do is get it set into place and see how much room we have, where we need to slide the mounting plates to and all that stuff and get the rest, of the, the rest of the brackets and stuff on. So let's do some work. It's an iron 5.3. I think this came out of a, I think that truck was, that we took this out of was a, what was it, 99 or 2000? It was an 03. 03. Classic Silverado. So we've got the original bracket and AC on. We're going to get the adapter kit on for the motor mounts and see if it'll sit down in there and where we can slide the motor to and check pan clearances and all that stuff. Got the old clamps style off. We got these on. This is what came in a kit. So we'll set it down in place and see where we need to set this and then put where to go, where to go. Wherever it went, the air conditioning bracket and stuff, and we'll set that back on there too. Way clear. Pull it right back out. So we got our engine mounts and everything set the way we want. This isn't, I scribed mine pretty good. I scribed those lines on there so we know where to drill a hole and I can kind of see where his is right there at the tip of my finger. So for some of you guys that are looking, we just went right in the middle with that. Also, the uh, factory AC bracket is not going to work, so we're going to look for something that brings that up more or something. We'll figure it out. Cool. I'm watching. <laughs> That's that back plate. It doesn't matter. There's a new one on there. Well, it's in there. It is level. That's probably still not even a final fitment because we got to get a header on it. But I, we're done for the day. So this was just a quick after work. Got all our stuff done. Get it in there finally. So we'll check fitment on the headers next and uh, see about the air conditioning brackets that they sell. Hey boys and girls, guys and gals. Hey, thanks for coming back once again to Steven's Garage 216. And I gotta tell you, as you can see here, there is a ton of interior work to do on this. Number one, I'm really, I'm, I'm still really happy with how the car came out in a way. There's some little things that I could super duper nitpick and be pissed about, but uh, honestly, I'm not going to. I, this was done by two 16 year old girls at one of the uh, junior vocational schools. Uh, they got a good learn on trade, you know, uh, outside, a full outside restoration body work, stuff like that. Man, look at the, I don't know if that's coming on camera, but look at the pollen out today. Listen, uh, before we go any further, real quick, I want you to uh, pause the video, go down below somewhere. Uh, like comment and please subscribe um we're over we're officially over 250 subs i'm happy about that you know especially knowing that the market is very saturated with car guys and doing ls swaps and all that stuff uh i'm glad and happy to be a part of it because 
I am the guy that doesn't do things necessarily the way anybody else is going to do it. Um, I don't know how to describe that, but if you've watched any of the other videos, or if you haven't, go back and take a look because um, I'm just a little different, a little weird about it. Some things some guys would easily replace. Some things guys are gonna all this all together do this way a particular way. I might have a different way than other people. So subscribe to the channel, check it out, see what's going on. You know, like here's a good example. Let me get uh, what did I do with them? Here is one of the uh, blackouts for the uh, tail lights, and. Um, if you remember the black eye rock that turned out to be a huge piece of crap uh, and we uh, weren't, we're not going to build, me and my boss, uh, these were the blackouts that were on the taillights of that, or well, we found in the trunk of that. So I want you to see these things are completely scratched up. There's uh, little fine cracks in here and stuff like that, but I'm just going to show you, a, a lot of guys wouldn't even bother putting these on. Um, but I'm going to show you with a little cleaning, uh, light, like 2000 grit, uh, wet sand and some polish. We're going to make these things look like brand new and we're going to slap them on there. It'll be great. Today's goal though, um, not going to be all that exciting. I don't think, I mean, I don't know. Keep watching, find out. Uh, but my, what I'm looking to do is, uh, we got to get the driver's seat out. Got to get the seat belts back off the other some other things we're going to get a couple wires ran for the new stereo system and start getting our roll of insulation put in i'll show you what that is here's the insulation i'm going to use now is this something that other people would use you know for sound deadening and insulation probably not but again this is what i'm talking about this is kind of like a foil style bubble wrap it's pretty thick i'd say this is probably a little over a quarter inch thick uh, this is just something that I kind of found on eBay and I thought it would be interesting to have and use on the car. So I've got two rolls, a uh, four by 10. And just setting this here, that's past the transmission uh, hump and it's actually sticking out. So two rolls of four by 10 should go from way up uh, under behind the pedals all the way back. And we're gonna like, I'm actually gonna pull the dash and stuff out we're going to try and get as far back up in there as possible and uh, make sure that it's uh, we're not going to get any engine, uh, no uh, engine heat, no transmission heat or anything inside the car. So I'm done talking. I'm going to call out my friend Alex at AutoZone again who says that I talk too much in these videos. So I'm going to keep calling him out on that. Uh, no more talking. Let's get to insulating and wiring. All right, so <clears throat> I've got the insulation in, most of it. There's still a little buttoning up I can do, but I wanted to just kind of stop in where I was at to show you guys how far along I've gotten. And what it looks like. You'll notice this mound right here, that's just where one of those is at, and that's for the back seat. But uh, again, remember, I may make a bench or so, I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I might make something kind of crazy where there's not really a back seat. It's just a um, kind of maybe a bench or something for the dogs. Uh, make the Camaro a two-seater, but um, you see I got all that done there. And I'm just basically using this uh, three-inch foil tape here. And just cutting pieces and taping them in. Um, I'm going to try and get weaved in and out of the shifter and all this crap. I want to get pieces laying across. I don't want no heat to be able to get in from the transmission or engine. And I went way up under there on both sides. I went way up underneath there. Tried to go up as high as I could on the firewall really keep the heat out or heat in so that's where I've made it so far 
Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the bonus footage and uh, what I want to show you real quick is on a third gen Camaro you've got these lower pieces here, or not lower pieces, this is the upper piece. This is what goes on your door right here. Okay, and the problem with this is, is that when I was inside the car I noticed that so they broke some pieces completely out and some broke in half. So what we're gonna do is, this here is um, just a piece of threaded, this is just a piece of threaded um, stock that you can get at like Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever. And this is a quarter inch rod. Uh, it's quarter inch by 20, which means that there's 20 threads you know, into such a length, like an inch or whatever it is, uh, by 12. And, well, this piece happened to only be held on by two, so we're at least gonna get four total, you know, on there, or even five, but this is 12 inch, so I'm gonna try and cut these at only an inch length, so that there's enough that when you set it down in there, you've only got about that much hanging out of it, and that should be enough to get the nuts on. So. When you buy threaded stock like this, um, you don't have to use the same that I got, but that's what works. Uh, is uh, This is quarter inch by 20 by 12 inch long. So we're gonna work this into our vise, real simple. You don't wanna tighten it too hard because you don't wanna mess up your threads. And here in the pile of mess that we have, we've got a tape measure and a for the thickness of our cutting blade. Inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter is two and a half. And then we'll just move the tape down and we'll go inch and a quarter, two and a half. So there we've got our four pieces marked out. Safety first. Where's the new glasses? Look at this pile of mess here. We can never find anything in this garage. Stuff just gets piled up on stuff on top of other stuff. So when you're done doing that, let me see if what, oh, how that's looking on the camera there. See how there's that little burr there on the threads, and it's not cut well. That's the end, but. See how there's that burr on there? So now if you've got a stone grinder like I got hiding way back over there in the corner. Uh, where is it? <laughs> right there. I'll be right back. I'm just going to go clean those edges up. But what you want to do is you want to imagine that if this is the edge of the stone, you know, the curve, and it's spinning, you just want to take this at a little bit of an angle like that and clean that off just enough. And then that way when you go to put your nut on, it'll thread out real easy. I'll be right back. All right, so here's what we got. Uh, focus. Ah, there, see? Cleaned up those edges. So now when you go to put your the nut on, it threads on real easy. We got one more to go here with the nuts on them. And uh, basically, so here's how we're going to put them in. We're just going to use some simple... JB weld, quick weld, uh, but we'll, there's, so it says six minutes, but if you read the instructions, it'll actually tell you that it's like a whole, uh, what was it, like 12 hours or something? It probably says on there. I can't read it though, because I'm old and don't have my readers on. But uh, yeah, if you, my plan is I'm not going to, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait longer than the six minutes for this to actually set. Uh, I'm going to let this sit like a whole couple hours and then we'll get it on, but for you, it'll be a matter of seconds. But here's what you do. You basically take your your JB Weld, uh, a, a quick weld. Uh, they have regular JB Weld. They've got, there's plastic, there's all kinds. Almost any of them for a job like this would work. Um, I'm gonna recommend the quick, the quick setting, steel reinforced. So uh, basically what you'll do is we'll just take Look at all that one side that came out, not the other. 
they give you a cool little wooden wooden mixer we're gonna mix this up real good uh, you'll notice that the two colors that came out was white and black so obviously white and black made gray When you mix the two chemicals together, we'll take this here, we'll get that down in there. If you look, what's dripping down. So I'm trying to get down in there. I want to get as much down in there as I can. I'm trying to get as much down in there as I can, but here, here's another thing to do. So we've got our pieces. Just to make sure there's some down in there and it's gonna hold the threads. You don't have to go far up because when you use your quarter inch drill bit, you're, you can only go down so far, and you don't want to force past where it stops on its own. So again, look, just up, up about a quarter inch onto the threads is all you need. I've done this lots of times. So you got that on your first quarter inch of threads. You get that down in there and you just let it sit. I gotta make one more for the middle. So we'll be right back and I'll get that middle one on there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna let this sit for an hour. For you, it'll just be a matter of seconds. And so I thought all my threaded rod before I JB weld, or as I JB weld them in, I was pretty sure they were nice and straight, but apparently this last one down here on the end, all the way down here on the end, uh, was not exact and it gave me a little bit of a fuss. But the other four went right in. I'm gonna go get I'm gonna go get a uh, small little, either a ratcheting wrench or a little ratchet and uh, socket and get these tightened down. All right, let's go get it. I'm gonna go get a, I think because of where they're at, I'm gonna use a, uh, uh, a ratcheting wrench and then I'm not worried about what's on the inside of the door, but this one here and the one that's up here, I'll use a little grinder and take them down level. There's one there. And maybe two more turns. That's enough. There's a little pressure on that. It's probably about two pounds of pressure I'm putting only. Man, I can't hold anything. And that's not even turning it. And remember, I did use lock washers. And then I'm going to trim that excess off down flush, but let's see how the door shuts. Oh, it doesn't even hit anything. I think it's not hitting anything. And the piece is back on the side of the car. So I got to do the passenger side, that piece that's on the bottom of the door. Because that also, if you look, charging the battery. They didn't put no speed nut back on there. They got a speed nut on there. That one is missing, that one is missing. And I, I put that nut on right there. So we're gonna take that off. But again, 
that some of their some of them are broken off and some of them aren't even there or they don't even have nuts on so I'm just gonna pull that piece off and do the same exact thing you've seen on that side and we'll do it over here so that we have both sides working and mounted on the car properly because look at that space look at that space right there between the door and the ground effect that is not cool so we'll fix that up I hope you guys like her ground her uh, sticker her decal on there that looks so sweet I like it I like it a lot so oh and you might have seen from the last video we got the blackouts on and polished and look at that shine on there no scratches they don't look dried out oh and I still got to find the Camaro emblem that goes there it's in the garage somewhere I cleaned up a lot of the mess but I can't remember where I set it down I do remember telling myself don't forget it's right here this is like where you're gonna find it next time and I hear I already can't find it so that's gonna be it for this video we fixed that ground effect on the bottom of that door we're gonna do that one next and as you can see we got all kinds of insulation in and taped down and all that still got plenty to go I want to do all the way up around where the six by nines go all down the wheel well I have to redo what I did for the battery and make that a lot neater and then I'm gonna fill all that rear quarter that inside area there uh, with this and I got pieces to go on the door before I put the uh, before I put the panels back on and stuff too so but that'll be it 